The MGA season kicked off this week with the playing of the 95th Senior Amateur Championship at Haworth Country Club in Haworth, New Jersey. After day one, Tor Carlson of Bedford and Matthew Meyer of Wingfoot led the field, shooting opening round three under 69s. Right behind the leaders in a tie for third were several players, including Alan Specht of Port Jefferson and Dennis Lynch of Baiting Hollow. Early on in the final round, Meyer got to four under par to take over the solo lead. Then, over the course of the front nine, both Meyer and Carlson fell back to the field. With nine holes remaining in the championship, things started to get tight. Following his opening round 71, Lynch went out in even par on the front nine and quickly found himself tied atop the leaderboard at one under. In these things, you can be three or four back and still, you know, have a halfway decent front nine and still be in the fight. And, you know, it helped playing with Ned. I play with him a lot. And, uh, he's a great guy, great competitor, and I knew if I stayed close to Ned, I'd, I'd have a chance at the end. After making the turn, Lynch dropped shots on 10 and 11, but rebounded nicely with a great birdie on 12 to keep himself firmly in the mix. That was huge, especially after a couple of silly bogeys, you know, when I made the turn. You know, making that birdie, and then uh, almost making the birdie on 17 from whatever that was, 100 feet. Lynch made bogey on 13 and found himself one over for the championship. Meyer who a hole before had made a double bogey, made birdie on the par 3 14th to regain a one-stroke lead over Lynch. On 16, I hit a, a five iron into the par five. It hung on, probably didn't go, you know, just cleared the water and, and stayed on the green, and that was pretty much the, uh, the difference today was the driver. Although his eagle bid slid by the cup, Lynch would tap in for birdie on 16, getting him back to even par for the tournament, and at that point, tied for the lead with Meyer. Lynch and Meyer made pars on 17 and 18, both finishing the championship at even par and setting up a sudden death playoff that began on hole 10. And I knew if I just hit it hard down the left side that I'd have a shorter Ryan in, and that's worked out well. After an incredible second shot into the par 4 10th, Lynch stepped up and buried his birdie putt to defeat Meyer and win the championship. Ah, uh, my buddy Jim was there and he said, you know, he said to me, it looks left edge, just left, and so that's all I had in my head, was just to get it rolling, and luckily it won it. With this victory, Dennis Lynch is the first player in MGA history to have won both the MGA Mid-Amateur Championship and MGA Senior Amateur Championship. Yeah, this, is, this was a tough one. This was on my calendar, you know, when I was 54, like, oh, here we go, here we, I gotta win one of these. Ah, uh, it's big, you know, just to, just to, you, know, you guys know how hard it is just to, you know, play well in you know, to, to come out to win one is tough. It's tough. I was lucky to win two mid-ends, you know, back-to-back mid-ends. And then to win this is really special, really.